I just finished making some of these rehearsal cubes for my wife's children's theatre. We settled on a size of 16 inches, which is appropriate for the age group of kids she's working with. But you can make these to really any size you want. A more standard size is 18 inches or 24 inches. The benefit, of course, of a 16 inch cube is that you can get three cubes out of a single sheet of plywood. The sofas, tables and fine furniture will come later, but on the first day of rehearsal, actors just need something to play on. For this purpose, a rehearsal cube fits the bowl. Rehearsal cubes can be built with five or six sides and can therefore be open or have a closed or hinged side. Adding a hinged side allows the cube to double as a storage between shows. Rehearsal cubes can not only be used for practice, but can also be put into productions as actual scenic elements in non-realistic productions, or they can also be substituted as chairs, tables, or other pieces of furniture. There is no real standard size for cubes, but you'll be able to get the most value for money if you make them in multiples of 16 inches. By using the following pattern, you'll be able to make three rehearsal cubes out of a single sheet of plywood. First, go to your nearest big box store or lumber yard and pick out some 8 foot by 4 foot sheets of 3 quarter inch thick plywood. Have the store cut the sheets first to make the pieces easier to work with. I have the store rip two pieces exactly 16 inches wide from each sheet. That leaves one strip 15 and 3 quarter inches wide. In your workshop, you can cross cut the pieces using the following pattern. From the two strips that are 16 inches wide, cut three pieces 16 inches long and three pieces 15 and 3 eighths inches long. This will yield three tops, three bottoms and six sides. From the remaining strip, you will trim that to 15 and 3 eighths inches wide and cross cut the remaining six sides to 15 and 3 eighths inch in length. Once you have your pieces cut to size, use a router to cut a 3 quarter inch wide by 3 8 inch deep rabbit in the tops, bottoms and the 16 inch wide sides. It is then an easy task to assemble and glue up your cube.
you want to make extra strong cubes that can withstand a lot of weight, then you might consider building an internal frame. In these heavy duty versions of my cubes, I built a frame using standard 2x2 material. The internal frame is joined with screws and if you build an internal frame first, it is easier to construct the cubes by gluing the panels to the frame than trying to insert the frame afterwards. Either way, depending on your usage, an internal frame may not be necessary. You just need to use common sense as to how the cubes will be used. If you decide to make a six-sided rehearsal cube, then you should consider adding a handle to the bottom panel. If you are making many cubes, then it is easier to make a template and use a pattern router bit to route the opening. I made the length of the opening equal to the width of my hand and used a 1 inch hole saw for the width of the opening. I used the template to draw the opening on each of the bottom panels and then cut out the bulk of the material with a jigsaw.
The template was then attached and the opening finished on the router table. I used a 3 quarter inch round over bit to round off all the edges. You may want to consider attaching the bottom panel with a hinge so that the box can be opened and used for storage. In my case I screwed these panels on. Optionally you can round over all corners with a 3 quarter inch round over bit. You have to be mindful that you may not be able to do this if you use brad nails when gluing up your panels during the assembly phase. In my case I only used glue and clamps when gluing up all the sides so it was safe to round over the edges. These rehearsal cubes are going to be used in a school production so I didn't want to use brad nails which may work themselves loose and then cause injuries. Finally sand your cubes and paint or seal them. I use Olympic flat black latex paint which is available from Lowe's for around $20. Use a roller to paint it on as it is pretty thick and will go on easier with a roller. I'm using a paintbrush as I did not have a spare roller when I made these and needed to get these finished quickly. If you want to learn more about these cubes then visit my website where I have a little bit more info and a pattern for cutting these from a sheet of plywood. Also check out my podcast Workshop Waffle. You can subscribe by going to iTunes and searching for Workshop Waffle. As always, thanks for watching.